Hello and welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. Thank you for joining us. We're going to be having a conversation this morning with Mr. Rob Wiley of Formstack, and he's joining us to talk about Formstack's secure productivity platform that digitizes information and automates workflows. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. Mr. Wiley, how are you this morning? I'm doing very well, Neil. It's great to be with you today. I'll give our listeners a brief background about your role there at Formstack. Yes, absolutely. So I uh, have about 25 years of experience in both healthcare as well as technology, um, including a, a health sector management uh, emphasis in my in my master's degree and, and experience in pharmaceuticals and software. Uh, I, at Formstack, I lead our marketing team and our product team, and so uh, work with our customers uh, to provide a uh, integrated workplace productivity solution. Uh, that will help all organizations, but particularly health organizations, gather uh, information, automate their workflows, provide um, uh, and fix their processes without having to use code. Um, so anyone can easily build forms and surveys, automate the document creation, or do electronic digital signatures, um, or create workflow and approval processes uh, across uh, across organizations. Um, as an example, we have for this audience, we have eight out of the top ten. Uh, largest uh, nonprofit health systems in the U.S. that use Formstack to collect and share healthcare information uh, and to eliminate those uh, more paper-based processes and, and uh, create those exceptional patient experiences that we all want to provide. Now, we're hearing especially now about um, hospitals being impacted in an unprecedented way by the COVID-19 outbreak. What do you see as far as how they're navigating this pandemic based on, you know, the day-to-day operations in very busy metropolitan areas before around the world, or at least here in the United States? Yeah, so the, the, the current situation that we're seeing is unprecedented, um, and there's not a, a clear distinct end that, that we have coming. And so we work with a, a, a large number of, um, uh, of healthcare organizations with our HIPAA-compliant uh, products, uh, around that, uh, on that. And so we've seen the pandemic, uh, spur faster adoption of these key technologies, uh, to help them increase the flow of their business, uh, around that. So of being able to swiftly bring on tools that allow them to, to, uh, to adjust to that. Um, so specifically, some of the things that we've seen, um, is hospitals, uh, use our, use our products. Uh, in order to enable a um, easier way for call centers as they have an increased volume uh, of requests coming in, being able to capture uh, requests and route those to the appropriate place um, with, within their call centers uh, around that. Uh, an example would be we had uh, one health system that was able to provide um, our use our forms to help assess risk and then provide the appropriate care recommendations to patients uh, and route them as they were wanting to, to come in. Um, for in order to tr- in order to triage them uh, throughout that. So w- what we've seen is is in response to the out- outbreak, hospitals are beginning to adopt uh, solutions that let them collect critical information uh, more quickly, often not on paper, but then to be able to automate those automate those tasks uh, around that. You said without using code. How easy is Formstack to implement with an existing system? or totally replace it, especially under the, these chaotic circumstances? So one of the things that's really interesting, particularly around health systems, um, is uh, as, as um, the, the people who work in health systems, uh, IT will often look at a new software product and um, want to embrace that and want to make sure that it is secure and that it's HIPAA compliant uh, and that it's easy and that it's um, going to keep patients uh, safe around that, their information secure around that. After that, one of the next things that we find IT professionals looking at and administrative professionals looking at is, can my, um, can the employees within the health system easily use the software so I don't have a heavy burden of support or of needing to have centralized resources where there's a queue of requests coming through? And that's really what we've seen is customers wanting an easy solution, uh, that uh, you can use uh, in a variety of different environments and to, to solve solutions, different departments, whether that be in a, a nursing context or in an accounting context or, uh, you know, in the, in the um, front desk patient interaction, uh, being able to do that. And so really wanting to be able to use uh, tools that are easier 
uh, for people to use. And what one of the things that we do as we develop the software is, is really think about our customers, um, particularly who might have an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree from a community college and try to develop the software in such a way that they're able to intuitively and easily use that uh, to, to build the, the solutions to the problems that they, that they know. One other thing that we've seen that's really important is the integrations and being able to connect into um, EHR systems uh, or other types of systems uh, of record that, that you would have, but to be able to bring that data out in a secure way or put data into that in a secure way, but in a much more, uh, might be a little bit more accessible or ad hoc fashion uh, as, they, as they would like to do that. Is it as um, efficient under extreme emergency conditions such as uh, remote uh, or field setups, uh, digitizing, gathering information in those situations as well? Yeah, that's a good question, Neil. It is. Um, one of the things that we have uh, to build a form and to jump in and do that um, is, is a really straightforward process and have a number of templates um, that are focused on healthcare that allow uh, professionals to come in and build those um, very quickly and easily with, with minimal training in an intuitive way. One of the other uh, things that we do have is a mobile app that will work offline as well. So if you find yourself in a field with limited connectivity, uh, are able to collect information on a form in an offline fashion and then be able to synchronize that back or upload that back when you get into a, into a place where you have more uh, connectivity uh, around that. Um, so we've seen people people do that from a self service perspective, mm -hmm. uh, be able to to set that up and, and and access that quickly. What type of feedback have you been getting from uh, the organizations that uh, have been using Formstack under these particular conditions? Let alone you know the day to day operations that they normally deal with. Yeah, it, it's been it's been really um, fun to think through how we can help, and we've. Uh, instituted a program where uh, healthcare organizations can get a free, can use FormSec for free uh, during this time uh, to be able to set up. And so we've had a number of people come in and uh, apply for that program. The particular um, customers that have been able to use this, we've seen uh, them come back and, and talk about how they've been able to streamline, you know, 30,000 calls a month and be able to the, the process around that. Um, we've also seen others um, that that have come in and said they've been able to streamline the process of just collecting basic information, whether that be insurance cards um, or, or other types of uh, information they might need to collect from patients coming coming through that. Uh, probably the best story that I have in this particular time that we find ourselves in is where uh, one health system uh, created a form that as patients were coming through for uh, testing for COVID in their cars. Uh, they would have the, the, the they would have the web address uh, on a sign that they could go in and fill out the form as they were waiting in line to do that, so that they did, could minimize the interaction that they would have to have. And when they got to the front, they would already when they got to, to their place in line, they would already have that information um, in, the, in set for the system around that. And so I've really seen that where you have folks who are not in IT who are just uh, have a little bit of technical savvy. Um, you know, be able to use use our product in order to solve the real problems as they're trying to serve patients. Well, where can we get some more information about Formstack online? So you can find uh, Formstack.com. Uh, you can find a lot of different. You can find all the information around our digital or document generation product and our electronic signature uh, product that that can be helpful to you as well as you can follow us on. Uh, your favorite social media outlet as well. Rob, thank you for joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Quite informative, and I'm hoping we'll talk again. Very good, Neil. It's been great to talk with you. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Mr. Rob Wiley, Head of Marketing and Product Strategy at Formstack. Audio of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.